Hello and welcome to our presentation. My name is Michelle Stefferson, National Sales Director, and uh, one of the first things I'm going to do is walk you through um, a very brief video as to what you need to do after you register with Focal Point and the things that you need to look at to make sure they're all complete. Okay? Um, this is one of the things that we would have walked you through personally, uh, step by step, but considering that we have created this video for you, we may not need to do that now. So let's go ahead and log in. Your focal point system, when you go ahead to log in, would be www.freedomathomelogin.com. Now, whatever password you used when you registered would be the password that you would to log in, as well as the email address that you used when you had registered, okay? So let's go ahead and um, just dig right on in. We're going to go ahead and log in, and uh, when after you log in, you're going to see this is the home page, okay? And what you're going to do next, we're going to go ahead over here and we're going to click on Go to My User Settings. Okay. From our User Settings, there's only going to be a couple of things that we're going to do here with this video. And the very first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is click on Personal System Notifications. When we click on personal system notifications, this will be the page that you will be reviewing. Now, with that said, what this page does is it asks you if you want your notifications to be by email and or by your cell phone. Okay? And for me, um, the email address that I use on a regular basis, you're going to see right here. This is my primary email address. This is the email address where I want all of my notifications to go to uh, pretty much the bottom line. <laughs> um, and yes, I do have that on. I want all my notifications to go to my email address, and as well as you should too. Okay. Um, and this is what you would check off. Uh, as for what you want to receive in your email in the way of notifications. I want to know that a prospect is filling out the web form. I want to know that they return to my site. Um, I want to have calendar event reminders. I want to know when a, a lead fills in a web form submission. I want to know, uh, have my other calendar uh, event reminders in there and I want to know when they opened up a video okay um, I don't need to know if they marked it as spam I don't need to know that and as well as I don't need to know if they've opened any other autoresponders um, with that said below here you're gonna see notification by text to your cell phone now, you need to know what your cell phone number is, and I have Sprint, so I have to use this long, um, kind of like email address kind of thing, but basically just your cell phone number otherwise. And with that said, yes, I want to also be alerted on my cell phone as well. I want to know when they fill out a web form and uh, when there's a real-time submission. Everything else I don't need to know in my in my cell phone at this point in time okay so you want to go ahead and you want to make sure that this is you know and you can always go ahead and come back to this and add this as you like um, and make sure that you save this information okay now we're going to go ahead and click back on user settings and then we're going to go to My Merge Information. Now in My Merge Information, I just want to make sure that there's a couple of things 
in your merge information that you have that should be filled out. And generally, I go through this, <coughs> pardon me, one-on-one -on -one with someone. But now that's no longer necessary as you can view this and come back to this video as you need to. One of the very, very, very first things that you need where in your merge information is here. Uh, the very first one says enter IBOplus.com and MyBenefits.com site name. Really, what that needs to be is your ID number needs to be there. And we're going to go ahead and want to put forward slash enroll after that. Okay? Because that is where somebody would actually go directly when they fill out something. Okay? Or they go ahead and enroll themselves out online, you know? So you're going to want that. Um, your first name, your last name, your account full name, the account email address that you have on file with them is usually the email address that you've registered with. The one that I registered with is my primary email address where I want all of my notifications to go. My phone number. The account title that I like to use is Career Consultant, and you can do the same as well. Um, the company name would be AmeriPlan, and my phone number, my direct line, is this number right here, and that's the number that I use to call prospects on as well. Then, of course, the address and the city and the state and the zip. Um, as we scroll down here, you're going to see account PayPal email address. Well, I'm not exactly sure why they ask this question here. Um, I've just filled that out anyway, um, but we really don't need this. This box could be left empty. Your join URL your join URL is exactly the way this looks ex except of course with your ID number in it okay so you want to be sure that you're putting HTTP colon slash slash www dot IBO plus dot com forward slash four zero two four seven four zero seven forward slash enroll is my join URL. Make sure your ID number is located there. Next after that we have a blog URL. If you happen to have a blog um, you can put that in there. If you don't, don't worry about it. Um, as you continue to move forward you might won't decide you want to create a blog. Um, and if so you can always come back in here and, and place your URL in here. If you have a Facebook URL, I would definitely recommend that you do put a Facebook URL in here and be connected with Facebook because nowadays e almost everyone on the planet uses Facebook. Okay, And as you continue to move forward, you'll get to learn how to create a profile or a fan page if you ever wish to do that. And it's just really a good idea. Okay. Uh, if you don't have one right now, don't worry about it. If you happen to have Twitter, make sure you put your Twitter in there. If you're on LinkedIn, put your LinkedIn URL in there. And I don't know if we ever, if MySpace is even in existence anymore. Oh my word, I haven't been on MySpace in forever. Um, don't worry about that. <laughs> I happen to have or had a MySpace U URL at one time way before I got started with, with Facebook. Oh my gosh, it's been so long now. Um, but for the sake of argument, I put my MySpace in there. What the heck? Couldn't hurt. Um, and that's basically you know, what you want to make sure you have in this information here. Make sure you save that. Okay, make sure you hit the button save at the bottom. So of course, don't forget this, this part, the enteribioplus.com and mybenefitsplus.com site name is your ID number forward slash enroll. 
and the join URL should be ibioplus.com forward slash your ID number forward slash enroll. Okay, and um, that's basically that with this particular video. We're going to have a second portion of this video is going to be all about your merge information and managing your three sites that you get with focal point. So please be on the lookout for that video and watch that real carefully and uh, that will help you go through the motions when making sure that our websites with focal point are all finished. Till then my friends, have a great day, be blessed, and we'll speak soon.